Sarah, and I live in a nearly 6,000 square foot library building with my husband Ben in rural Kentucky. And today I'm going to show you how my husband and I renovated our bathroom. But before we get started, I'm going to send you to past Sarah to talk about the plans we originally had for this renovation. Over to you, Sarah wearing plaid. So Sarah, what are our plans for the bathroom? For the bathroom, um, it's largely cosmetic, a lot of painting. So this bathroom you built when you moved in here. Yes. And it's got two showers, the standing shower that you use and the tub shower. So we'll paint the walls and then the shower will need a curtain rod. We'll need shower curtains for both showers. I want to paint the door. We'll probably add some shelves to kind of act as a linen closet. Paint the vanity cabinet, probably replace the hardware and then shelving is a priority for this bathroom. So we've talked about doing some recessed shelving right here. I'd like to do some shelves up here or a shelf. That's kind of the plans for the bathroom. Thanks, Pass Sarah. What a beautiful woman. Throughout this tour, I'll show you some footage of the renovation, but before we start, I'm gonna pass it over to Ben so he can tell you how this bathroom came to be when he built it, when he bought this building, before I even met him. Over to you, Ben. So we got the building in 2012 and I uh, didn't really move in anything until about 2013. And in between that time, uh, we actually got the original blueprints to the building and determined that there was supposed to be a bathroom in this exact place. Uh, the bathrooms downstairs are right below where we're standing. So the plumbing was already in place down there, but nothing was through the floor because this is a concrete floor. So I have uncles who are licensed plumbers and licensed electricians and we looked at the blueprints and kind of made a plan of action here. Some of the lumber was recycled. Uh, a lot of the fixtures were new from the hardware store. Here we are, uh, till almost 10 years later. First is my shower area. Over in this corner, I have a set of plastic drawers that I use to store extra toiletries and supplies. I spray painted the drawers black long ago. And on top of them, I've got all my extra shower supplies like bath salts and bar soap and shampoo bars and shower steamers. And then behind the shelves, I have some daily shower spray and cleaning supplies. The shower itself wasn't used until I moved in. When Ben built the bathroom, he built two showers. So first thing I needed to pull away all the dried caulk and then re-caulk it so it's nice and watertight. The shower also didn't have a shower curtain, so we had to install a curtain rod as well as a shower curtain and curtain liner. What are you doing, Ben? I am putting up a shower curtain rod in the shower that you will be using. We got the, shower, the rod up. Yeah, the well, rod. went with a little bit of a flowery theme here, I see. Keeping with the gray theme, but brightening it up a little bit. Yeah. And this is going to be my shower. Cool. Looks nice. Yeah, looks good. Fun fact about this shower, Ben and I had to take new passport photos recently, and passport photos have to be taken up against a white wall. And we don't have any white walls. So our passport photos were taken, crouched down, standing in this tub, up against this white shower wall. Behind me is Ben's shower. It's just a traditional standing shower but we added this shower curtain he used to only use the clear liner we also added some towel hooks this one's for my towel this one's for hand towels and the one for his towel was already here behind me is a door to a dryer furnace storage room so what are we doing now um <laughs> i'm painting the door and the trim the dryer is in here as well as the furnace system, which was replaced during this renovation. Ben, do you want to give us a few words on that project? No, I do not. I also added some plastic shelves that Ben already had to store things like towels, extra cleaning supplies, laundry baskets. Since this was a library building, closets weren't really part of the original design, so we work with what we can to create our own little linen closet. Next to me is a custom-built recessed shelving unit. I wanted some shelves over here to store all of our daily use items so that they wouldn't clutter up the counter space, and Ben didn't want the shelves to protrude into the vanity area. So he suggested recessed shelves, 
and instead of buying a pre-built unit and installing it that would have been expensive, Ben offered to design and custom build these shelves. So I'm going to pass you over to him so that he can explain how that happened. So as Sarah mentioned, she wanted shelves right here. Uh, I used to operate back in the archaic uh, barbarian days where I just had things sitting on the counter, which is not acceptable. So instead of having shelves protruding out as far as the mirror, which would have been real weird and awkward because there's not a ton of room here, uh, I wanted something recessed. And so I designed the whole thing, kind of drew out a big blueprint, had to modify that blueprint as I went along. Uh, I think we got some video will show of me cutting out the hole. But I built the whole thing by hand. Uh, there happened to be a stud here, and there happened to be uh, the conduit here. So I had to frame around the conduit, and there was a stud over here. And basically add a top and a bottom. Sarah did help me cut some trim, and of course she painted it. I don't like painting. But uh, yeah, built the whole thing. I think it looks pretty nice. It's, it solves the shelf problem without having it sticking out in the room. I like it. Right, here's our vanity, and when Ben built this bathroom, he actually used a kitchen cabinet as the vanity instead of a traditional bathroom cabinet, which is nicer because kitchen cabinets tend to be taller than bathroom cabinets. He had painted it a glossy black paint, and so he sanded that paint off, and then I painted it this lovely matte gray. On the counter, we've got a Kentucky Mint Julep Cup for our toothbrushes, because we live in Kentucky. And then I just keep a small dish with hand soap, multi-purpose cleaner, and a bar of soap. I should also mention that I painted these walls. They used to be a different shade of gray. Hey there, Sarah. What are you doing? <laughs> um, I'm just prepping the walls to uh, paint soon. Hopefully. Cool. Yeah, have we chosen a color yet? Um, I think we're going to go with a light gray from Rust-Oleum. What's it called? Dove gray. Dove gray from mm -hmm. Rust-Oleum. So how's it going in here? It's going pretty well. I'm cutting in, um, in the bathroom with the dove gray paint. So we're making progress. I'd like to put some sort of painting or decoration here, but just a reminder that home renovation is never done. We've made it all the way around the bathroom and we end here at the washing machine. I understand why people like to have their washer and dryer tucked away in the laundry room, but to be honest, I really don't mind having the washer here in the bathroom. It works really well for us. One thing I wanted to add though was a shelving unit above the washer to store our laundry detergent and a few extra cleaning supplies. And that works really well too. Okay. This one's heavier. I know. Big what we it. should probably do is put the heavier things towards the stud side and the lighter things towards the anchor side because anchors can tear out, whereas studs should not, you know? Uh -huh. So let's put more weight on the, on the stud side. We good? I think so. We did it. We made it through the whole bathroom. this video click that thumbs up button to give us a like and subscribe to our channel by clicking that red subscribe button feel free to leave a comment below telling us what you think i have lots more videos about our renovations our diy projects and our life living here in a library building that i'm really excited to share with you thanks so much for watching and spending some time with me here on library living have my overall straps been uneven this whole time it's always this clean. What am I saying? It's definitely always this clean. My overall straps are uneven. You'll learn, Sarah, you'll learn.